right, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Hack Shot. Thanks so much for joining me today as we are going to check out the new bike you're looking at right here. I'm trying to get to one of my favorite little spots to film over in this area at least. And this is my first time on the bike, dude. Big thanks to Orlando Harley Davidson for sending it out. Uh, and and I love doing business with those guys. That's why I go so far away to get bikes from them. I traded in the street glide. So just to go ahead and answer that little question right right there I traded in the street glide yes so i will answer that in a separate video why i did all of this i promise i'm not going to talk about it in this video i just want to bring you along for my first ride here and that's it this one is a 2022 lowrider s let's get off of the bike and talk about it a little bit here well 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 we are looking at my brand new bike reveal showing you right here first thing i actually got this a couple of days ago but this is my first ride we're going to talk about it a little bit i no longer own a street glide so we will talk about maybe some of that but i'm going to save that for an entirely different video of course i'm going to do a, a, a full review on this but i just wanted to do first ride with this thing and first impressions that kind of thing so let me walk you around the bike really quick and then after that we'll get on it and ride ride's gonna be eh, i don't know it's not gonna be too long this is a place i like to film it's in the middle of the neighborhood this place is closed on sundays uh it, it's just a nice place to film so that's why i'm here the new lowrider s and the lowrider st these and the cvos were the two bikes that harley was keeping quiet about and we were really anticipating so this one of course being the s we now have the brand new 117 motor you can see it actually comes with the breather which is really really nice mid controls so no provisions for a passenger of course i gotta fix that mrs heck shot likes to ride with me um and this bike when she first saw it she looked at it like this from the front and she's like it looks like your old bike what, what why and i was like no 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 it, it's nothing like my old bike i promise you she's speaking of the iron 883 because of the little fairing you know single headlight all that kind of stuff sorry i got something pulling on my freaking beard hair which is really pissing me off okay it kind of hurts so you can see up here chopped front fender there you have this i don't even know what they call it what they call these bronze rims they look really amazing or copper coated whatever you can see you have your dual disc brakes up front michelin scorcher tires this is a little bit different now you have to mind the back here this is an old one <laughs> so that's why it looks all raggy but you can see the console right here fxlrs gas tank right here no tachometer and speedometer on the tank anymore so you have just a cluster right here i'm gonna walk you through that in a minute you have four inch risers one inch bars five gallon tank right under 600 no right under 700 pounds uh, as far as the weight and yeah so i've already got some things coming for it i will talk about that as well led tail light oh harley thank you led headlight dude thank you what about the turn signals still halogens baby Jesus, they still have not run out of that old stock yet. Give Harley another year. They'll have LED everything, I promise. I don't really know that. Just a guess. You can see your derby cover and all of that good stuff, all blacked out with little pieces of chrome here and there. Wrinkle black finishes, satin black or gloss black as well. All kind of mixed in. Looks really good. Let's get on the bike. Let's do some riding. Alrighty, Harley Lowrider S interrupted by the rain a little bit but that's okay so as you can see here we have a single gauge cluster throw it in neutral starter button right there left and right turn signal all that good stuff we'll go through more of this when we go through the reviews miles uh you have miles remaining in the tank time i haven't even set that up and a digital rpm gauge so I know I'm going to get questions. Why did I trade in the street glide for this? I get it. I'm not going to answer that in this video, but I am going to do an entirely separate video for all of you wondering. And again, trip's going to get kind of sh cut short here just because of the rain and 
whatever so it is what it is but I wanted to share this with you because this is my first time on the bike as well I've literally been looking at this thing in my garage for a couple of days now just sitting there um, <laughs> that, that's kind of tough to do dude waiting on this exact moment right here um, so what I've already ordered for it and I got some more stuff that will that I'm gonna obviously get for but uh, what I already have coming is a passenger setup like I talked about before I went with the Harley reach seat and got her pegs I'm gonna go with the Empire collection on this uh, bike instead of the Willie G and which I think you know it actually looks pretty good what else oh I have the uh, little mustache guards up in the front you know protect against low tips and stuff because uh, I do plan on practicing with this bike obviously my low speed turns and stuff so now one thing that's cool that they actually did for us though is they left the 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 analog rpm gauge and now you have a digital speedometer so they kind of did it backwards of the way everybody else does it but i really like this man because it, it I, I just i prefer it man i prefer the looks of it it's more accurate uh really nice job there i'm, I'm glad they did that you know, and like I said, I'm not a Dyna purist, you know, or anything like that. So if they make changes like that, if I don't like it, I just don't like it. But I'm not going to say I, oh, I hate it because it's different, uh, you know. So, it, but I know that that's a big thing and that's why I mentioned that. So that's kind of a cool, cool little thing right here. Of course, we got a five gallon tank, gunship gray. Absolutely amazing, dude. Orlando Harley Davidson, once again, is who I went with why because those guys give me the best service it is what it is appreciate them as always go check them out if you go there tell them i sent you so the bike in general 600 and oh what is it 690 pounds compared to what was the street glide 850 Whew. dude you're almost talking about 200 pounds lighter this bike is as far as my seating i am pretty much just sitting straight up man it feels weird to have all this wind hitting me again having that fairing for so long dude holy crap <laughs> i have to get used to that again for sure um yeah the seating position is nice i'm sitting pretty much straight up i'm leaned out just a little bit to get to the handlebars but nothing like the iron nothing like you know a sportster 48 or something like that it's it's got a pretty decent position i wouldn't mind if they come back to me just a little bit of course that's that's something that can be changed and um you know just gonna play around with it man do a few things i'm gonna add bags i'm gonna add provisions for some kind of a radio um, I've been looking at like the what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I've been looking at like the uh, Curry Kuryakin Kuryakin. I know they're a pretty big motorcycle brand and uh, They have like an MTX Sound system that you can put right here um, in between the uh, You know somewhere probably right in here because I have the gauge right here obviously so that's pretty cool and uh, you know, just add some of the little things that I'm obviously gonna miss from the street glide, being a radio and saddlebags. Those are very important for me to get. Gotta get some pipes on this thing, dude. Holy crap. Just quiet. Not gonna push it too much. I do have brand new tires, but at the same time, Oh yeah, this this bike is gonna be freaking fun, dude. So, the lowrider ass, man. First ride, just riding through the neighborhood. Not the best day for doing this, but it is what it is. Just wanted to show you my new bike, man, and, uh, and kind of get you introduced to it, get myself introduced to it, because like I said, I haven't been on it 
up until this point right here. Got a lot more to come with this bike. If this is your first time stopping by, man, do me a favor. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit your notifications so you never miss a new video. And thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all in the next one. And as always, holding down.